calcium and magnesium are both vitally important for the body. We hear more about calcium now because of uh, osteoporosis and the, the need for building bones. However, most people don't understand that magnesium is required in order for calcium to be absorbed into the body, to be built up in the bones, to work with balancing muscle activity. For example, Muscles contract when you have a lot of calcium. Muscles relax when you have enough magnesium. If you have too much calcium, then the muscles get tight. And that can be a problem for people who get uh, leg cramps, charley horses. And the heart being one of the biggest muscles in the body, if the heart cramps up, you have angina and worst case scenario, a heart attack. Another way we can deplete magnesium is by taking too much calcium. They create a, a kind of seesaw in the body. And if you have too much calcium, you actually deplete your magnesium. You want a balance of both. And in fact, it may be that you need two to three times more magnesium than calcium because you are probably getting much more calcium in your diet than you will be getting magnesium. If you have enough magnesium in the body when you're taking a lot of calcium, you can actually help dissolve the calcium so it doesn't build up in the tissues. But far better is to get your calcium from food sources and get your magnesium partly from food sources and partly from supplemental sources. Magnesium is very important for bone health because it not only helps to absorb and assimilate calcium into the bone, but it makes the bone more pliable, less brittle. What I've been seeing is so many women taking calcium alone for their bones, they're getting brittle bones. They're still breaking their bones. And the excess calcium that's, that's not absorbed is actually causing symptoms of gallstones, kidney stones, heel spurs. It's being deposited in, in soft tissues throughout the body. So it, it has to be balanced. Calcium has to be balanced with magnesium.